Hi everyone. Um, today I'm gonna do make a chicken curry. Um, it's gonna be Sri Lankan way, but it's gonna definitely it's gonna be different than the regular traditional way. And uh, I'm gonna use some of the ingredients that are not really necessary. I'm gonna put um, yogurt and tomato paste. Those are optional, so you don't have to use those. I will let you know when I use those. Now I have chicken here, which is two pounds of chicken thighs, and I have a full onion here, uh, cut into pieces, and half of a tomato. So I have washed and cut this. So um, let me let, let me start adding the ingredient, um, the curry powder, and everything. So I have here, I'm going to put um, roasted curry powder, so maybe, I don't know, I'm so used to this, so like, actually this is roasted chili powder, <laughs> so I'm, I will put about one and a half to two tables, uh, teaspoons, and I might put um, chili powder later as well. This is just to get everything mixed up. And, and I have here roasted curry powder. Just gonna put a little bit of um, pepper. I have salt here. Um, and just mix everything well. You can use your hands. I'm just gonna add plain yogurt. This is just to make the um, the gravy thicker. So I'm gonna put like two spoons of um, two tablespoon of spoons of um, yogurt. I'm using the the Greek yogurt actually. So this is what I'm using. Then you can add some tomato paste I'm gonna add like two small um, two tablespoons of tomato paste we'll get everything mixed up very well and let it stand for about 15 to 20 minutes or if you want to keep it for a longer time that's good so it will absorb everything so I'm gonna start making this chicken cook um, start cooking um, take your pan and one of the things that I wanted to share with you guys is whenever I make chicken I I have this problem that it won't give you the color you get when you make chicken at home in Sri Lanka like the reddish color so I uh, one person taught me this trick and I will do it today it's gonna I will show you how to do it. So when you have the heat, um, the pan, add oil, whatever, I mean how much you want. I usually put a little bit more oil. To, to get a good color on the chicken is, one thing is to uh, roast your uh, roasted curry powder. So you have your pan with oil, heated oil, and you have to put your curry powder and let it roast slowly without getting it burned. When you roast that to a level that um, it's, it's started changing colors, you can add your chicken. So it will give you the color that you really want in your chicken. Let me start doing that my cooker on medium heat 
and I'm gonna put um, the roasted curry powder. I'm gonna put about um, one and a half to the oil that I have here. So it will slowly start um, You can also put a little bit of um, roasted chili powder. The smell of this is going to be really strong. So I have my candles lit up. Put your chili powder too. Let it burn for a bit and but don't uh, let it roast for a minute, don't burn it. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see it here. It will start getting darker. And you will feel the smell, I mean, uh, yeah, you can uh, smell it. You can feel it too. Um, see, I can see that it's getting darker. So, but be careful that you cannot burn this, otherwise it's going to be really. So when you have this, I'm going to put my onions. Onions are cooked. And I'm going to add the chicken to this. This is the chicken that I have um, at every. I have I at everything earlier. Give it a good stir so it will stir everything so all the onions will be evenly distributed. Now, for chicken, you really don't have to put water um, to cook it because chicken itself has a lot of water in it. So when you cook your chicken in medium heat, it will generate water as well. So I don't really put water, any water at all when making chicken. Um, now this is after a while, about not even five minutes. So it's cooking slowly and I stir it a little bit. And I'm gonna keep it for another maybe 10 minutes or so. Meanwhile, I will, in like five minutes, I'll be adding my uh, tomatoes. And also, I have some um, curry leaves. Yes, curry pincho. So, I'll be adding those as well. Now, it's like after five minutes, I'm gonna add my tomatoes. And also the curry, pincher, um, curry leaves. And give it a good stir. Let it cook for about another 5 to 10 minutes. I didn't add any water or I didn't even add any uh, milk. This is just because this looked thick because of the tomato, uh, the uh, the yogurt. You don't have to add yogurt. If you're not adding yogurt you, at this time, you can put a little bit of milk so the gravy get gets thicker. So I'm gonna let it sit there for another 
five to ten minutes and um, we'll see how it looks looks like it's um, fully cooked you can see how much gravy is in there if you want to reduce the gravy you can um, uh, you can put on high heat for a while so it will reduce the gravy but at the same time this will be lower when you when this cool down cools down so I mean I would rather have this gravy with it now this is the time you can taste it and see what are you missing like if you need more salt or I mean that's the only thing you can add right now but uh, you have the option to put a little bit of soy sauce if you want to I'm not gonna add that so I'm just gonna turn the heat off so the chicken is done I have let it cool for a while uh, this is how it's gonna look it's like at the end um, you still have some gravy and it's thick too so this is gonna taste really good the next day because at that time then it's gonna be really absorbed and everything but now that's done hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching um, and I really appreciate all the comments that I have received so far for the da I know there's so many comments there but uh, thank you so much bye bye